Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. So in today's video, we are going to do 16 must-see DIY hacks and ideas using Dollar Tree wood items. These are my top 16 DIYs I've done so far on my channel using Dollar Tree wood items. So let's get started. First up, we are gonna do a really easy plant hanger using Dollar Tree wood beads actually opened like six packs of beads mainly because I just wanted to use the large and the medium so I went ahead and just dumped them in this wood piece I got from the Target dollar spot just so I can more easily find the pieces that I wanted so I went ahead and took some Dollar Tree cotton or jute twine and I measured it to be about like 61 inches and I went ahead and cut four pieces to size and we are going to be making a wood bead hanging planter. So once all of the pieces are cut, you're going to fold them in half and then just loop them through. This is a macrame ring that I actually got from a Target dollar spot um, like kit that I got recently and then all I did was group the strings together in two, add some tape to the bottom and just string the beads through. Again, I use the larger and medium, not in any particular pattern, but you're going to want to make sure that they end even before you tie off the bottom of this planter. And then I did the same technique of wrapping and looping around some yarn to the bottom. This time I went with the cream yarn or white yarn from Dollar Tree and then I just secured that. Now you can totally leave this colorful but I wanted this to be a little bit more modern looking. So I took this outside and spray painted it with some flat Rust-Oleum spray paint and this adhered really well to the beads. I did tape once I realized that it was gonna get in the bottom, I did tape down that kind of yarn that I wrapped around so it did not get there. And I did spray paint over the metal ring so everything was black. But this dried really fast and I found that the flat finish paint versus the chalk spray paint really did finish so nicely on these beads. In the past, I have tried to spray paint and hand paint the Dollar Tree beads and it has been an absolute disaster. Um, this actually worked, so I was happy about that and it definitely gave it a more modern look. Super simple and easy. I absolutely love how modern and high end this looks, totally transforming those colorful beads from the Dollar Tree. Are these wood pencil holders found at the crafter square section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to pair them with these kind of arch window pieces from Dollar Tree, but any decor piece from Dollar Tree will work for this project. But since I'm using these window pieces, I am going to paint with some black apple barrel paint the centers of both of these just to cover them since we will be layering the wood pieces to turn these into wall sconces. So these are really pretty as is. Like I mentioned, I got these at the crafter square section as well as these awesome hinge stickers, which I used in a recent DIY video, which I will have in the description box or up in the cards down below. So I'm gonna take the stickers. I took four to make kind of hinges for the windows and then two kind of accent pieces that we are going to layer on top of our wood um, pencil holders for this decor piece. And then once that paint is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take some white chalk paint and just dry brush over top those stickers just to highlight the grooves in them and give them more of a pop. Now there's a lot that you could do with these um, pencil holders or I think that where they are to me they're a pencil holder um, but I'm just gonna add these stickers on there just as a nice accent I really like the unfinished wood I like that some parts are lighter than others some parts are darker and honestly they look really pretty as is with this nice sticker accent but you can totally stain them paint them that's the awesome thing about wood crafts is that there are so many possibilities to fit your decor style so once the stickers are on we are going to add those hinge stickers on to these um, window pieces. Let me know if you have found these. I found two rogue ones in one of my Dollar Trees and then my friend Kristen Kay, she sent me these um, 
white ones that I'm using. So I absolutely love them. So thank you, Kristen. Um, I am just hot gluing these wood pieces on with a craft stick. And then I do that just so it gives it a little bit more of a sturdy base. And there you go. Add some greenery and you have some really easy, beautiful sconces made from wood pieces from Dollar Tree. Speaking of Dollar Tree picture frames, they have some fun ones in their crafter square section. So going in with some stencils, again, I picked these up at the Target dollar spot. I am going to just add a fun pattern to them. I decided to go neutral with this with some black paint, but you can use any color that you have, or these are just great if you wanna paint in one color. I have used these before on my channel, and I will have that video linked down below in the description box or in the cards on the screen. Now you're gonna wanna make sure if you're using a pattern stencil like this, that you make sure the paint is dry, either let it air dry or use a blow dryer before you reapply the stencil. So that way everything looks cohesive with the pattern and you have no smudges. And then I thought it would be fun to use different stencils for each of the frames. I used this also in a recent project on a vase. And I love the way that it turned out. I really love using stencils. It's such an inexpensive way to add some character and a fun design to your decor. And these wood pieces, like I said, are just such great bases from Dollar Tree for stencils. Now to hang these, I'm taking my favorite Dollar Tree faux leather ribbon, the very little bit that I have left. I have not been able to find this in any of my Dollar Trees. So sad since I first showed it. And doing my usual craft stick with some hot glue, that is how we're going to attach the ribbon to the top of each of these picture frames. Now these Dollar Tree picture frames do come with a little wooden dowel that you can apply to the back if you want these to stand up on their own, but I like hanging my picture frames on the wall. I'm always switching out the pictures in my gallery wall in my hallway. So these were a really fun and easy addition using Dollar Tree wooden frames. Dollar Tree carries one similar, but this is just as comparable to the Dollar Tree one and it's three cents less. Now I am awful at the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. So a little hack is you can take a coloring book page. I actually Googled um, free coloring pages and I printed this one out and I am going to transfer this on to our wood picture frame. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just trace where you want the design to fit on the picture frame. Also make sure that you trace the inside so that you will have your image on the border of your picture frame. And then you're gonna cut it out and then make sure that you cut out the middle as well so that it fits over top the wood frame. I've done DIYs before with coloring book pages from Dollar Tree, so you could totally do that as well. These are a great way to get a design or image that you can transfer on to a surface. So that's a little hack for you. If you have some random coloring books lying around, you can definitely repurpose them into decor. So to transfer this, I'm gonna take some of my Arteza graphite tracing paper. You're gonna put the darker side down, gray side up, and then place your image that you wanna transfer on top. I always like to tape down the image as well as the um, trans, not transfer, tracing paper. Um, especially for images like this that are a little bit more intricate, just because there will be a lot of tracing, you wanna make sure that everything stays in place so the image is transferred properly. And I went ahead and used some masking tape because I can trace right over top of that tape and you can still see the image with the pencil before we fill it in.
This definitely took some time since I went with a little bit more of an intricate pattern, but I love tracing with this transfer paper since as you can tell, everything just applies really easy. Now I'm gonna take some fine line um, pens. These are also from Arteza, but any pen or um, paint marker will do. But definitely for a more intricate design, I would go with something thinner. I started out with the black um, ink liner pen, but then it kind of ran out of ink. So I went in with this graphite, which honestly against the wood looks black anyway. And I just went ahead and filled in everything. You can do so many things with this. You can make this really colorful. I wanted to go a little bit more, um, neutral with this and make it look more as if I like did a wood burning technique. So that's why I went with a darker color, which actually a wood burning technique would look super good on this also. So this just gives you an idea, but there are so many different ways that you can customize something like this to fit your decor. And again, this was from Walmart for only 97 cents. Um, I definitely love Walmart for their crafting section. I want to incorporate more pieces from there in my videos because there are other places besides Dollar Tree that you can get really budget friendly pieces like this to craft and decorate with. everything is filled in or colored the way you want it it is time to add your picture I wanted to add this picture of my grandma it's one of my favorite pictures of her to this frame I intend on keeping this in my craft room I um I've talked about this a lot on my channel but my grandma is the reason really why I even started crafting she was a Jill of all trades she crafted, built things. She was such a talented woman and definitely an inspiration for me still. And I miss her so much. Make it sentimental to me and fit my home. And I cannot wait to display this in my craft room. So for this project, I ended up using four of these flat wood palettes from Dollar Tree. Now they do have a larger size, which you see here with the jute hanger, but I went for the smaller ones. Now for the base of this holder, I'm gonna use one of these small kind of coaster wood palettes, and I am leaving everything unfinished, but you can totally spray paint these, stain these, paint these, whatever your heart desires. But sometimes I just kind of like the unfinished look. To me, it's very simple and modern, so that's what I go with. So I am just going to attach on the little ledge that that palette has with some hot glue to this bottom um, kind of coaster piece. And then we're just gonna hot glue two other ones on the side to make a really easy holder. And like I said, I have this for my K-cups actually on our camper. I needed something that would hold a few, not take up a lot of space, and this works perfect for that. So this is a great DIY for small spaces, RVs, or just a small little accent on a coffee bar. So once everything is hot glued, that is it. You have a decorative and functional coffee holder. I showed you how to use these Dollar Tree wood pencil holders um, to use as sconces, but these are really pretty if you just stack them on top of each other with some hot glue and make a tall kind of fun modern vase. So for this, literally two seconds and some hot glue, apply some hot glue, stack them on top of each other, carefully remove any excess hot glue that may be sticking out, and that is it. You have a fun, kind of almost like something you would see in Anthropology or West Elm, vase and then add some greeneries the greeneries greenery this is a pick i got from walmart for 97 cents i love how bold this is and it's such a simple easy budget friendly diy Another wood item I always see at Dollar Tree are crosses. They have ones that either hang small or large, or they have ones like this on a stand. So I love this one. I love the cutout in the middle. So I went ahead and painted the entire thing in some gray chalk paint. For this, since there is the opening, I found that this looked best if you paint the front, the back, the sides, and the inside. And then once that paint was dry, I left the base unfinished and I added some of these really fun tile kind of geometric print um, 
stickers to this. Now this is gonna go in one of my daughter's rooms. I kind of have a modern farmhouse boho look going. So that's why I added these stickers to her room. It fits some of her other decor. But of course you could just dry brush this. You can add gemstone stickers. You can add no stickers. Really the wood pieces from Dollar Tree are just so easily customizable. And I love how this cross piece turned out. New to my Dollar Tree are these square pencil holders. So really easy, we're just gonna add some stickers and stencils to this, put these together, and this is a great option for an office or a craft room to store either paintbrushes, pens, pencils, you name it. So going in again with my favorite stencil and this beautiful olive green paint, I'm just going to paint what will be the center wood crate with this. Now this Target Dollar Spot um, stencil did come with a brush, which is great, but you can also use a sponge or whatever brush you have on hand for stencils. And once that dried, I went ahead with some hot glue and applied this so that it lays horizontally. And then I thought it'd be fun to add some of these stickers. So I went ahead and did that, but you can also paint them or leave them as is. I have this in my craft room storing my paint markers, but this also be great in an office or you can even put paint brushes. You can also even put toothbrushes in a bathroom, lots of options for this. And next up, we're gonna take the wood frame from this stretch canvas from Dollar Tree and do a really fun reverse canvas piece of wall decor. This is an eight by 10 and I got this print off of Etsy. I will link the shop down in the description box below. So what I did, and I actually saw this on Pinterest and I don't know why I never thought of this before. I took my box cutter and I was able to cut away the canvas so much more easily or easily. Um, usually I struggle with this and this took me like half the time as usual. I left the staples in since we will be gluing over them once we reattach our print, but I just went ahead and removed the canvas so I have the bare frame. Then I took the printable again, which I got off of Etsy and I traced the print to the frame so I can cut that and cut away any excess. This was a little bit bigger than the eight by 10 frame, so I wanted to make sure that this fit nice, and that's that. Now, I can never cut in a straight line. I say this all the time, so my paper trimmer is a must, and I also have this in the description box down below. I got this from Michaels a couple years back, but they have a similar one. This, I believe, is a Martha Stewart one. They have a similar one on Amazon. I love this thing, and it definitely helps with pieces like this where you want a nice, even, precise cut. Ideally, you're going to want to use some cardstock, but since this is regular printer paper, I went ahead and took the backing of a um, like coloring pad that my kids had. I just needed something that was cardboard. Um, Dollar Tree foam board would also work great for this. And all you're going to do is just trace and cut this to the size of your printout and you are going to glue that just so you have a little bit more of a sturdy backing before you reattach the frame. Once everything is cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that it fits the frame, take away any excess of the canvas that's sticking out, and then I'm going to attach the printable to the cardboard using a glue stick. Then once that's attached, you're gonna take some hot glue and attach the frame to the printable. I absolutely love Highland cows. I have a whole bunch of them and horse prints in my house. So this was a must for me to make this. And like I said, I got this off Etsy, but you can do this even with like a calendar from the Dollar Tree or any printable or piece of art that you have. Now you can leave this as is, but I love to add rope to my decor when I can. So I took some of this cotton nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I had a scrap piece, so I went ahead, folded it in half, and looped it through this wood ring round. Then I'm gonna kind of wrap this around so I have a pretty holder for this canvas. Now for the bottom, I'm gonna take 
some cotton yarn that I had on hand. Dollar Tree does sell yarn and more about that later in the video. I will have a yarn DIY for you um, with tassels because why not? Um, I'm just going to loop this around the bottom and wrap it around so it cinches the nautical rope and adds a nice pop of color. Once I'm done wrapping the yarn around and I loop it through that loop that I made, I'm just gonna pull that tight and trim the excess. And then I'm also going to go ahead and trim the bottom of the nautical rope and kind of loosen it a bit so it looks a little bit more fringed. And this is just a really fun way to just hang your decor and add a, another Dollar Tree element to it. Next up, we're gonna take these two small wood pallets from Dollar Tree, and I always save little decor pieces from Dollar Tree, like little pieces that come off. And this is Welcome to Our Home. It came from another decor sign at Dollar Tree, so I hot glued one onto the pallet. And then the other pallet, we are gonna add some height to it. I wanted this to look like a mini wooden chair, so taking some Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, I'm going to hot glue them on either side of where the you have the vertical piece going on the back of the palette. And this is just gonna allow me to be able to make this a little bit taller. So I went ahead and added six tumbling tower blocks in groups of three, as you see me doing here on both sides of our palette. Once all 12 pieces of the tumbling tower blocks are applied, it's going to look like this, and this is going to be the bottom of our mini wooden chair. I thought this would look so cute in my guest bathroom. I can put a little planter with some Q-tips in there or cotton balls for guests, and we are just going to hot glue this leaving a little bit of space and then having another tumbling tower block in the back for stability. And this is what our mini wooden chair looks like. Like I said, I'm adding this in my guest bath, taking this small planter from the Target dollar spot last year and some Q-tips, you have a really easy and functional piece of decor. So for this project, you will need one and a half packs of the wood craft dowels from Dollar Tree. And I'm using two of these decor signs for my end pieces for this mini shelf. Now these pieces, the little tile part pops right out and this works perfect for our little shelf. So for this, I just wanted to kind of get a feel for how many dowels I needed. Like I said, I used a pack and a half and I just wanted to see if I needed to cut any down. So I went ahead first and just fit them in before I attached anything with glue. So once I got everything, as I wanted it, I wanted to reinforce this because I will be putting like supplements and little like oils and stuff on this. So I wanted this to be sturdy. So for that, I'm using some of the Dollar Tree craft sticks and I'm gonna flip this over, line it up with a ruler, this little measuring mat to make sure everything is even. And then I'm gonna add some hot glue and craft sticks to what will be the bottom of this to make sure that everything stays in place. Once everything is reinforced with some craft sticks and hot glue, it is time to add this to those little end pieces with some hot glue. I love saving little signs like this from the Dollar Tree because they work great as like kind of repurposed projects. And again, I like to keep my, or I'm liking the theme in this to be very like minimal modern. So that's why I went with the unfinished look, but again, you can paint this. Um, and that's it for this project. I love the way that this turned out. I also have this on the camper. I made this sign like a while back. I can have that in the description box below. And I think this is just so cute and easy and functional.
Next, we're gonna take three of these Dollar Tree little mini wooden drawers. And what's great about these is that you could take the drawer out, flip it to the back side, and you don't have to see the cutout that it comes with, and it makes it a great base for DIYs. So like I said, for this project, we'll be using three, and I am gonna use that same stencil I've been showing you, but remember, you can always use a stencil that you have or a color, um, paint that fits your decor. So everything I show is for inspiration and it can easily be changed to fit your style. So for little drawer pulls, we're gonna take three of these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree and I'm taking this terracotta paint color from Arteza and just painting the front of them for a pop of color. This terracotta color has been one of my go-tos lately and I have a coupon code for Arteza which I always keep down in the description box below if you are interested. And again, taking that terracotta color, I am just going to paint the tops and the end piece sides of the wood because I will be hot gluing these together. There's no need to paint the sides of all three of the wood pieces unless you really want to since they will be covered in hot glue but I did go ahead and paint the border of all three of these wood pieces just so that it had a more polished look. All the paint is dry, it is time to attach the drawers. I'll put them back in and then attach with hot glue. Now this piece can be used horizontally or vertically. Now if you do wanna use it vertically, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and paint the other side just so that you do not see the unfinished wood part from the um, vertical position. But I'm gonna have this horizontal because it fits on my shelf in my craft room. And this is great for little odds and ends like beads or glitters or just small objects that you have. Or you could just use this decoratively. Um, and I think these drawers actually fit tea bags. You can even use this functionally in a coffee bar or kitchen area. So many ideas for these adorable little wood drawers. these oval wood plaques from Dollar Tree and I will be using the hook from this sloth piece of decor also from Dollar Tree. Now recently in a trip to Target in their Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground, let me know which one you say. I've heard it said both ways and I never know what to call it. I call it the Dollar Spot. They had this awesome pack of four stencils for $3. So I'm using that with some black paint on that wood piece and then these hooks are really nice quality. Honestly, something like I would see in like Hobby Lobby. So I am just going to unscrew the hook as well as the hanger from this piece and we're just gonna reattach it to our wood piece from Dollar Tree. Now, this is a great, again, functional decor piece. I'm gonna make a hanger that's great in a kitchen for hand towels or even in a bathroom. Or you can even put this in a entryway to hang a light jacket. Um, I love functional pieces of decor and using hooks like this from other pieces of decor, mixing it with a wood piece is just such an easy way to achieve a decorative and functional piece. with the functional theme, I'm gonna show you how to take a whole bunch of wood pieces from Dollar Tree and make this awesome command center. So for this project, you will need four of these larger wood palette pieces from Dollar Tree. And before we attach them, I'm gonna take this adhesive cork sheet, also from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, and I am going to trace and cut it to fit one of the palettes. I wanted to go ahead and do this before we attach all of the Dollar Tree wood pieces together, just so I can have an accurate cut, since we will be covering one of the wood pieces once everything is put together with this cork. And this cuts really easy, and I love that it has an adhesive back because it makes applying it's so easy. 
Now it is time to put together the base of our command center. So I went ahead and cut off all of the hangers to these Dollar Tree palettes. And then I am just going to take some craft sticks and hot glue and really reinforce this where the seams of the palettes are. Now, since we will be adding other pieces to this, it's okay if you see a little bit of the craft stick from the back poking through, but if you were to attach these without making a command center, then just be mindful where you hot glue the craft sticks so that you do not see them poking through the front. And this is what it looks like when I have all the craft sticks reinforcing this piece. And as you see here, it's nice and sturdy while I flip it over. These palettes are a perfect base for the cork board sheet that we're using from Dollar Tree. Since there's little slits in the wood, it makes it perfect to adhere things and actually have the pin have a place to kind of poke through. So now taking this Dollar Tree um, chalkboard, I'm going to take off the little hanger and on the unfinished wood part, we're going to add some of my favorite Dollar Tree gemstone stickers. So I am going to cut a few sheets and since I don't want these in this green color, I'm going to take some gray chalk paint and first color them. I am sorry for the shaking camera. I'm noticing this as I'm editing. I tried a new camera angle and as much as I like the angle, I don't like all the shaking. So I apologize for that. I will have that fixed by my next video. So once that is all dry, I'm gonna take some black acrylic paint that I already had on a brush and just lightly dry brush to highlight and give some depth to these stickers. Now going back in with that Target Dollar Spot stencil and some wood crates from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna apply that same pattern with some black paint. Honestly, these wood pieces are such a perfect base for fun stencils and I definitely love working with them and I love how fast the paint dries on the wood. So I definitely wanna do some more wood craft focused videos with Dollar Tree items on my channel. So let me know if that is something you're interested in. So while those crates are drying, I applied the stickers and I love that these gemstone stickers are already in an adhesive strip. So it makes it so easy to apply. And of course I was just short of the stickers for this. So I did have to go back and paint a few more, but as you see, they apply really easy. And I definitely think it helps give a more kind of high end look adding a border. So I went ahead, painted some more, and then it did the same thing to this strip of stickers to our Dollar Tree chalkboard. And then once everything was dry, I just applied it with some hot glue, both the chalkboard as well as the Dollar Tree wooden crates. Now this would be great in a desk area. You can use this for your crafts. You can use this really even in a kitchen, anywhere. And this stands up perfect on its own. And it also can be hung up on the wall, depending on the space that you have or the look that you're going for. For this project, you're gonna need two and a half packs of these wood craft dowels from Dollar Tree found in their crafter square section. And the reason I use two and a half packs is I wanted them to be wide enough to fit the length of the crafter square crates. So two and a half packs, they come with 10 a pack and I'm just gonna line them up and make them all even. This will be the base of our wall hanging. Really going to want to make sure that this is all even before you start gluing. So for this, you can use a ruler. I'm just using this little measuring mat just to make sure that everything and all the dowels are in place before I start hot gluing. So to keep this all in place, this piece that we're hot gluing on will be the back. So I took some craft sticks also from Dollar Tree. I used the thinner ones and just hot glued them to the back so that everything stood in place. I first started on the left side and then I worked my way on the right side, making sure that I filled in the gaps and that all of the dowels stay in place. Next up, we are taking some of these tile stickers. If you are not new to my channel, you know the obsession with Dollar Tree stickers is real. 
and these tile ones are one of my favorites. So I wanted this video to be not only functional, taking pieces from Dollar Tree, inspired by other awesome crafters here on YouTube and part of this collab, and making them into functional pieces, but I also wanted pieces that were really quick and easy, that you didn't need to paint, so if you want a quick functional craft, this video definitely will help you with that. So these stickers are great to just add that kind of boho vibe or really any vibe that you want. You can use all different stickers from Dollar Tree. You can paint over them. And I wanted to just put them in the front just to add a little bit more of a decorative touch to them. But of course, if you don't like these stickers or if you can't find them, you can always paint. You can use a stencil freehand or just paint them all one color. There's always a lot of options you can do to fit your decor style. So once all of these stickers are added on, it is time to place them on our dowel base and attach with some hot glue. You just wanna make sure you have enough spacing that whatever you're going to put on this, you're able to put in, see it, and then still have space for the next crate. I'll be hanging this on the wall, but if you do want this to be a tabletop piece, then you can also just glue that bottom crate down to be even with the bottom of the dowels so that it stays as a tabletop. So I used a extra chain from a planter that you will see from Dollar Tree at the end of this video for my last project. And I just took that, cut it to size and used this with some hot glue as a hanger for this piece. Originally, I was gonna secure the chain with a craft stick, but I found that it just wasn't laying even. So once I hot glued the chain down, I just added some extra hot glue over top to make sure everything stood in place. I used a strong hold hot glue and let that set. And here we have a decorative and functional piece two of my favorite things to do with DIYs. I love things that are pretty and functional. And this is great to kind of store some go-to paints that you may be using, some beads like I have here. And I love that it's decorative. You can also even put this to hang your, or not hang, to store essential oils. You can use this in a kitchen, in a bathroom. So many different uses for this piece. I just hot glued together to make a really simple and easy kind of minimal modern vase. So I just added hot glue to the vertical pieces that hold this together and that is it. Literally, that is it for this project. Again, you can make this more ornate. I was going a little bit more modern, but again, anything that I show you on my channel can be altered to your decor style. So if you don't like that I how I paint something or don't paint it, you can always improvise. I just like to provide you with some ideas. So I added some eucalyptus that I had left over from a bunch from Walmart. And I also have this on the camper and this is really sleek and small and it's a great little piece to add a decorative touch and hide an outlet in case you don't wanna look at it. So I hope you enjoyed these 16 musty Dollar Tree DIYs using wood items. I love the wood items from Dollar Tree and I definitely wanted to recap some of my favorite I have done so far this year on my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure that you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.